Hey everybody, uh, I'm super excited to show you guys this video. I filmed it in Japan about two months ago with my friend Yan Fan. She is the co-founder and CTO of Code Chrysalis. LN Eskun Fi Tokyo. Wow, I know. Uh, I know. First half, fuck up. Raise the arms, then and down again. And visualizing it and then presenting it to your class on Friday during block two. How did I meet Yan? Um, it was about a little over a year ago, my first time in Japan. I was at Slush, which is this kind of, I guess it's like a tech conference or something. Um, I was with my friend Fatima. We were just walking and, and suddenly I hear somebody like reading off of my name tag. And my name tag was in Arabic. I think it's a Lahjati, um, which is the name of my company basically, it means my dialect. And um, I was like, uh, I look around and, and we see this, this, this girl standing, and she didn't look Arab. And um, we're like, and she told me you know, and uh, she told us that she actually studied Arabic in college. And her name is Yan. And we got to know her. We actually ended up having dinner before I left and we just kind of stayed in touch. And I was super fortunate to see her again this time and to get a little more about her background and how she got started as a tech entrepreneur. It's an awesome story and I hope you guys love it. I was born in China and I moved to the U.S. when I was three years old. Uh, I grew up in Seattle, uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, I went to university on the other side of the country uh, in New Hampshire, a little university called uh, Dartmouth College. And at Dartmouth, I actually studied economics, Arabic, and Chinese. Um, so I had no idea what I wanted to do. Uh, so after graduating, I went into finance. Um, but I wasn't very happy at my job and decided that um, I needed to change. So uh, when I was living in Singapore, working in finance, I had all of these ideas for companies that I wanted to start. Um, and uh, the problem was, uh, starting a company now, you need to have technical skills. Uh, so I didn't have any technical skills, and I didn't know how to hire. And um, it was really difficult uh, looking for a technical co-founder. So I decided to learn how to code myself. Um, at first, I just wanted to learn enough code to be able to hire someone. But then I started coding more and more and realized that I really liked it. Uh, I think compared to finance, uh, working as a software engineer as a woman is so much easier. Um, there's definitely a lot of issues in the tech industry, but overall I think in the finance industry there's fewer uh, women represented, um, at least on the front office facing um, sides of finance, so uh, as investment bankers, as traders, um, etc. There's fewer women. Um, and I also felt uh, more camaraderie uh, in tech. Um, I really love doing a lot of different things. Um, so I've always been very entrepreneurial growing up. I think I always had an idea that I would start a company or that I would, you know, I, I was always trying to look for ways to do things, um, to make money or just to create a product. I really liked creating something and seeing other people enjoy it. Yes, I think um, to be an entrepreneur, you have to be tenacious. Um, I think if you're the type of person who won't take no for an answer, um, if someone says no to you, you try to find a way around it. I think that's a really good characteristic um, to have. You kind of have to be a little bit of a psychopath um, because you hear so much um, negativity, not just from yourself, but maybe from others. Um, people picking apart your business plans or criticizing what you're doing. And at the end of the day, you kind of have to trust your, yourself and trust your instinct um, and to kind of turn everyone away and just continue on your path. The last thing is resourcefulness. So a lot of things go wrong when you're starting your own company and um, being resourceful. And I think that 
ties back into net tenacity, but being resourceful with um, what you need to do to get something done is really important. So we're a school and we teach software engineering in English in Japan. So I think one of the biggest hurdles that we had to get across was just convincing people that um, one, um, our decision was right, uh, and two, that English is really important and that we should not be doing this program in Japanese. We had a female student who went through our program and then she doubled her salary, got an even better job, um, that gave her a higher impact role, and that was a huge win for us. At the end of the day, you're picking up um, an entirely new way of thinking for many people, um, and so it's giving yourself that consistency, putting in the effort and the time, and also being patient with yourself. Um, I think that's how you can pick up coding. The unofficial motto for Code Chrysalis, our company, um, is that we often tell people to that we want to get them to be comfortable um, when they're uncomfortable. And there's this idea that um, in life we're always going to come across uh, uncomfortable situations. Um, not everything's going to be smooth. Um, and while we will always come across those, we can kind of decide how we want to how we want to approach that. Um, and so I think being comfortable with kind of the chaos of the world or the randomness of things um, and like believing in yourself that you will get through it, I think that's really important. Thank you, Yan, so much. And hopefully you guys benefited from this video. I definitely learned a lot and I'm super psyched to be learning coding myself. If you follow my snaps, you'll see me taking like two hours on one problem in JavaScript, but to God them. So <laughs> let's see where uh, where things go. Uh, I'll put the link to Code Chrysalis here and go check it out.